Hi YouTube, I hope you're doing good. I am, I'm having a good day. Um, I am going to read that letter tomorrow morning because um, Doug's going into town anyway. So I'll have him put it in the mailbox and it'll go right down to St. Paul to um, the Capitol building. Probably take about a day. But if I put it in my mailbox and have a flag up, sometimes our mail lady will drive, just drive by. And she's supposed to, if the flag's up, get that. But so I've decided I'll just do it the safe way and I'll read it in the morning and um, get it uploaded. Or, you know, before he takes off, I'll get it read and put on here like I want to do. So, and I've been thinking, should I read it today? Or I want to have it about as fresh as I can have it up in the front of my videos so when they go to look at the letter and associate my words with what I'm telling them you know they can look me in my eye and try and tell me that it isn't one of the most important issues coming up for the future of the world with the amount of refugees and people that are coming into the United States right now and what's going to happen in the future of this country. You know, and speaking of emotionally unstable like they want everybody to be, um, I guess uh, members of the armed services, uh, or so they're saying they want to make the forms like non-binary so that'll make people that are confused more comfortable to be all they can be you know so that's a slogan if you don't know from our army <laughs> you know so yeah that's going to influence millions of people young people to be murdering confused individuals that'll work for the state for a paycheck, no matter what. And probably a house and benefits and everything when they get done doing the dirty deeds of our government. You know? So cheers to that. I got water right now, but... <laughs> oh, I have some coffee sitting here too, but... And I did have a glass of milk. It's a pretty warm day here. So, but I have a fan on, so if you hear a little bit of noise, that's what that is. <laughs> I got to pick up one of them baby kitties this morning. I think the tiniest one. It was so little in my hand, just tiny little thing. <laughs> big head, big belly, fed well. Their mom is taking care of them good, so... I haven't seen that one I call Heart Baby for a few days, but like I've always said, we do live by the creek with um, all kinds of animals, so you never know. And some of our neighbors do shoot kitties, so, but, yeah, it happens. It should be illegal for people to have let a pet out you know just have a a law where it would be illegal you know because people get or I don't know cats do get out though that's the thing you know if they're not fixed and they get out my cat was fixed and so is Doug's and this one that I've got that I brought in, if she does get out and get pregnant, I tell say she's staying out, but I don't know how tough I would be on that. If it came right down to it, I'd have to, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard enough having them little ones right up front because the mom will go out hunting in the morning, Puma, and um, 
that little one they if they fall out the hole where the floor is um by the um it's called a firewall where right behind where your gas pedal and stuff is there's a hole because Doug's patching metal up in there and stuff and they can get the mom can get up and down the little ones can get down but they they're too tiny to get back up in right now so she'll sit there and scream and I told her this morning you better be quiet I've told her a couple times that littlest one and she screamed worse but I think she tired herself out and then was quiet till her mom got back because that's dangerous to be on the ground screaming your brains out when you only weigh a quarter of a pound you know <laughs> it's terrible so, yeah Yeah, how corny. Going to change language on forms just to get people to sign up for their own doom, you know. Doom and gloom, you know. I heard old President Trump saying how much he likes Zelensky. It's like, come on, really? I mean, the dude was in his underwear with socks on and a guitar and a cowboy hat pretending he was funny is that funny and he likes this guy well go figure because trump said if his daughter wasn't his um he would go out with her that's um that's something that i would wish a dad would not say my birth father called me babe and i didn't talk to him again and he might not have even meant it like that, but being that he was a uh, adult and my mother was a minor um, when they made me, and he was a married man, it's like, no, you don't call me babe. We had talked on the phone and written letters and stuff, and after that it was like, I'm done with you. So his name was David Bonch. His mother was a McDonald, and, um, you know, so that's, like, really Irish, and there was Scotch-Irish, and different, different, whole bunch of different nationalities, even on his side, so, yeah. But, yeah, wasn't a very nice person, actually, because good men don't um, get teenagers pregnant, you know. And then uh, throw the bastard to the wolf. So, you know, it's like, you fuckers, you know. And he wasn't a stupid man because he ended up owning the insurance company. He owned the company, not just an office and a branch, you know. So it's like, uh, yeah, he, he was fully aware Masonic shit. Of what he was doing with the bloodlines directed by Satan of course trying to get his way with people on this planet that's not gonna happen hopefully everybody in your bloodline you're aware of what part and role your ancestors played or didn't play if they were even given a chance to try and stand up for human beings but maybe it is actually in your DNA from your ancestors most likely there's one of them like a grandparent or a parent that was really a tough cookie and would never cave to any of this crap that's going on in the world like you want to tell me there's three genders no there is not you know you want to tell me i um like came into this world because i used to be a man and now i'm a woman no i've always been a woman you know, or I heard that even that um, although Christ and the Father carry the Holy Spirit, of course, the Holy Spirit is from the Father through the female. The, the Holy Spirit is the feminine spirit, the gentle nature in everybody, 
and they're lucky that it exists and they should stop demeaning it because you really aren't going to be getting your way in the end if you don't appreciate the two parent situation that they're trying to annihilate you can literally go sit on it somewhere because you're out of your mind you're flipping insane you know and that's just how they want people confused afraid upset and out of your minds you know imagine how confused these um kids oh i saw a super super good one on facebook this mother was so angry that they were teaching her child in school about being a tra encouraging them to be a transgender here this mother had to sit across from um these two different teachers that were coming down on her in front of her child and demeaning her so bad all she could do was cry when she finally had a chance to stand up in front of the school board and all the rest of the parents there they were she was they were livid you know it was so great she did start yelling and security came up and then she sort of calmed down and somebody else took over on the same kind of wavelength and it's like you are not doing this to our children behind our back it's a very small demographic that is trying to push this on people and the majority will rule and men and women and families are the majority despite what they're trying to push out there so and that what they are trying to push is not what families are made out of so and I don't care who says what, go ahead. I mean, there's good good people. But if they're not good enough to really stand up for, they, and I did hear this one um, LGB whatever lady got up there and said she had a same-sex partner, but I don't fly any kind of rainbow, and I don't wear no buttons or badges. Or she said, in my house, we fly the American flag. And she said, and there's a lot of us that um, keep our personal lives to ourselves that she's, she's appalled and pissed off what they're pushing on the children. And most normal people are, you know. So most normal people aren't out there waving their banner of what they're, they're and if you're waving your banner in front of kids, off with your head. You know, really. That's none of a child's business. And that's between a child and their parents and or God or both. Or even a best friend or a minister before it would be any public employee. You know. I have very strong opinions about it because I have seen how people in generations of um, sexual deviantness has destroyed entire families. And I'm not giving up on, but I know to be true, not just in my own life, but in other people's lives. So, um, yeah, I'm not backing down. So, and may the best people win yeah we're gonna the only thing you know there's going to come a day and i know god's gonna do it i suppose the power grid will go down then they'll crawl into their holes and the earth will shake and there they will die see they think they have me in a zoo and they're observing me and you and doing whatever they want to do. But their zoo is our prison for them, not us. And if you just know that God gave you glimpses of what can be and what will be for you, hang on to what you know is in your heart. Don't 
get clouded or fogged by all the stuff they're doing to us. Just keep God in your heart every second like that. You know, Satan's going to give you a gazillion reasons why God doesn't exist as the same moment your heart is beating and you're breathing in air or eating some kind of treat that was put on this planet for our subsistence. There's nothing that the dark cabal or Satan can say they can give you that God didn't put here even for them. And they have done nothing but use everything he gave for greed and um, I see here I'll boil it down when you start um, uh, injecting people with drugs that haven't been tested and then trying to push that on people as a fact that's time when people got to say you know it's like okay just pretend this because this is no joke the monsters coming at your kid what are you going to do see the monsters coming at my kid and what am I going to do? I'm going to kill it. You know? Some people think that, um, see, well, I don't know. I, I can't really guess. I cannot prove that anything made out of darkness will become light because there was a separation between the light and the dark. Some people have a theory that dark matter light came out of the dark matter i believe there was light and when light put a barrier between uh, a part of itself as a learning tool that was the darkness that it's actually really all light that's just kind of my thinking out loud <laughs> so. But yeah, I've been watching, uh, well, yesterday I saw a most excellent, if you're familiar with Mr. MBB333, did a live stream, which he usually doesn't do, and it was really good. And then I was, uh, oh, and then Jason from Archaic said something that I believe, too, that we are, you know, the word planted, <laughs> planet, we're like the moon and the stars and the sun were placed in the firmament. And he believes that the sky rotates, we don't. And I, I couldn't agree more. I don't care what shape it is. And MBB thinks it's more oblong. And I'm kind of maybe lumpy like this and kind of like a bowl tilted a little maybe. Sure. I can kind of see that. doesn't matter how the energy is held together. It's all God's, you know. So, yeah, but he had a super good live stream. So, and if you think about it, yeah, all they have to do to make um, it look like we've actually moved, all God has to do is move his... Um, stars or the planets there could be certain planets that absolute see um there's i think they're set on wheels i think that's the wheels in the sky that that move people through time and people are saying you know how how um like like a self rep replicating angel for instance going through the sea of human beings and coming out in these times when you had been before through the humankind and still being yourself through the whole process. If you're aware that you're somebody like that, you're not going to sit there and let some joker tell you that you used to be a woman if you're not or you used to be a man or if you know 
that God is God and the spirit is a spirit and there's a difference and Satan's Satan. There's a difference between each and there's a collective energy with the people on this planet creating like the four winds and the spirit working through everybody. But Satan tries to get in that wavelength with that spirit because he has the knowledge of how the spirit works through people's blood. And when people try to silence the voice of a female, you're, you're robbing yourself of truths that you probably aren't going to hear anywhere else. That's, um, and it is true. I'm not saying all women. I, and I know I'm extraordinary because I am different, damn it. What am I supposed to pretend I'm not? I'm a flippin' freak. Anyway. <laughs> Admit it, you think I am too. I mean, I've I've I know myself, you know. As I heard somebody say some of the things I just thought I'd kind of rectify that. And I do know there's a reason why. Because um the dark cabal does not want to hear words like mine at all out of a woman. Oh hell no. I could be stupid if I did something stupid or half naked or cooking or some dumbass thing. They'd have me all over, and I'm an excellent chef. So, I mean, it's not like I couldn't teach that or whatever. But um, if I did something that conformed to their little bitty uh, expectations out of their slaves, you know, and that's never going to happen with me. I'm not conforming to their shit. Don't get me wrong, because I think the same of everybody with your hearts and your brains. It's just that um, I know that I had some extra time from people that could do something about the ways of the world put into my whole existence, you know, to help everybody out. It's something that we all can do, you know. It's like MBBs, like we can never know it all, but he, he doesn't hurt to try. I agree, my friend. I, it doesn't hurt to try, and why not? What else do we have to do? I mean, sure, there's always entertainment. We don't always have to just cram our heads with um, information. Well, at least once a day is a good thing, though, to <clears throat> learn something new. If, if it makes sense, if it's logical, if it's sound, you know. Teaching children that there's three ge genders is not logical or sound. That's not a good way to build a foundation in a child's mind and heart and soul. And to hell with the people that have touched children, damn them to hell, for real. That's not a joke. When an adult touches a child, they're, to me, they're dead. That's it, you know? I mean, I, I got enough compassion to say, go get some counseling and good luck. Um, uh, if you get locked up, because I know people that have gotten away with that. I did help get one guy had to do some time, but not near enough for um, messing with a kid, you know. So I don't wish anybody like that a good life. No. There's certain things that adults just do not do. Normal ones don't think of it. And sick ones make a decision to act on their fleshly desires. And that desire stems from one sick puppy, let me tell you. That's got to be a worm-infested individual right there. Just think of the filth that they pass on to a child, you know.
Yeah, everybody's germs are so mixed up on this planet for gazillions of years. Like like MBB said, um, like every drop of water has been used and reused. Just think like we're drinking dinosaur water, the same water that they drank and lived and died around, you know. It's true. Every molecule of every... Um, biological life form being recycled but yeah if you want to watch in fact i'm going to drop the link to that live stream he had um it some of his um uh, uh explanations about things and talking about the earth's mantle and different things like that um which a lot of us kind of know a lot of those things but like just a good refresher course, but I bet I bet anything you probably learned something new. So I think I'm gonna, if you haven't watched his channel, give it a shot. He doesn't usually do live streams. He usually does like a seismographic updates on the planet and sky watching. And well, he's an Earth watchman. So, um. <laughs> So oh, yeah, I, w I would rate his live stream yesterday um, not, uh, 11 out of a 10. It was top rate, <laughs> you know. Yeah. What's the weather like around you? If you're close to me, it's probably similar, but... Um, it's probably close to 90 degrees here, so I believe that's um, Fahrenheit, <laughs> you know. I really used to know the difference between Fahrenheit and Celsius. I thought maybe Celsius was like 26 degrees compared to R0, so... I'm not sure, but I used to know that. That's something I let go, <laughs> or I lost it. Yeah, that's probably more like it. Oh, it's going to say, when I said I got my teeth smacked out, no, they didn't actually fall out right away, but they cracked. And then the one I had to put a cap on it, a crown, a gold crown, but I was allergic to gold. And the next one was cracked too, and I didn't know that, and I can't have any dental implants or anything, so I have two teeth missing right there. Um, yeah, there's nothing they can put in me that I'm not allergic to. So it's a little rough if I'm having something like a potato chip or um, when I first started eating pretzels, which I haven't had for a while now, maybe a half a year. Oh, no, a few months, but I didn't really enjoy them like I used to. They were rough when I first had that done. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> so. But like I was saying, everything getting beat down on the left side of my body. But then on the other hand, growing up with my adopted brother um he was left-handed so i got it on the left side too yeah he was three years older and he's uh like six foot four and pretty muscular not really but somewhat strong really strong because we were active um working hard type of kids <laughs> so yeah I think that started, um, I had a paper out. I carry my paper sack on my head. I tried it on, on my shoulders, but that, that didn't work very well. And I pull my wagon a lot. And I tried all kinds of ways, but yeah, my wagon was the best, especially with the Sunday papers. I had to walk up hills to go get my Sunday papers, and I keep some of them, do like half of them, 
on hills that were going downhill, but then I'd have to walk back, get more papers. And, but then the rest of my route was sort of like downhill on the other side of it, coming back home. So 72 people. About it encompassed about um, four by four city blocks, like so, like a 12 or 13 block area, because a couple of them were like dead ends, like where we lived and stuff. So, boy, was it ever. <laughs> so, well. I will be back tomorrow, and I think you'll find that letter for in by, behalf of the kids. And not only is it going to help the children in the future, it's going to help society because um, right now it's going to put a dent on some of their hopes of what they think nobody is watching, that a lot more will be watching. And I'm hoping when I do read this letter that you will share it out and bring more attention to people that are wards of the state because if you ever been around any of them crazy ass group home kids um you might think to yourself that oh or maybe maybe it went well in your area i've been around different things but there there needs to be more structure and more emotional care with kids that are being thrown away and given away and sold in our country. The selling part, that's that's the big thing right there that um, may not be absolutely provable, but every case is, is a money-generating situation with every single child, and it's not cheap. So, well, I appreciate y'all watching me. Um, have a really good night or day wherever you're at. Peace and love.